guys, it's BJ. Welcome back to Chair Dancing with BJ. Uh, and today I'm going to be reacting to Boy Story, Too Busy featuring Jackson Wang. Uh, I am back from my LA trip. Oh, it was so much fun, you guys. If you haven't been to LA, um, I recommend it. Specifically, I went to Chinatown, Koreatown, uh, Little Tokyo, went to, um, oh gosh, what is the name of that mall? The Source. It's this big Asian mall that's there. I actually went and saw a Korean movie in their theater with the subtitles. Oh my God, you guys, I had so much fun. I'm going to do this every year. I've already decided. And I went to go see 1OK Rock, pretty much my favorite band at the moment. Got to see them live. Um, but yeah, so uh, watch for those vlogs if you haven't already. Uh, the first one is up. Uh, the second two will be up in the next couple of days or so. Uh, yeah, so check those out. But Right now, I'm here to talk about Boy Story. If you guys don't know anything about Boy Story, um, they're actually a favorite, uh, a, a favorite of my 15-year-old daughter. Um, in fact, when they first came out, they were, they're, they're all about her age, actually, maybe a year younger. Um, at first, she was like, ah, they were too young. I'm never going to get into these guys, as if. And then um, she watched a couple of their videos and was extremely impressed with their talent. And the next thing you know, she's got two biases and the rest is history. Um, if you don't really don't know anything about them, they are under JYP. And JYP himself actually went to China to search out boys to put this group together. It's a Chinese group. Um, they sing, they sing, they don't sing in Korean. Um, and Jackson Wang from GOT7 actually... Uh, was recruited to help him um, discover these boys and um, they're very talented. If you haven't seen any of their previous videos, I highly recommend them. Um, it's They're a Chinese hip-hop youth group launched by Tencent Music Entertainment Group and JYP Entertainment. Um, they're composed of six members, Han Yu, Zi Hao, Jin Long, Zhe Yu, Ming Rui, and Xu Yang. And their average age well, and this is older. Their average age, I think right now, is 14. 13 or 14. But I think it's closer to 14 now. When they first started, it was, it was 12, 13. Um, uh, they, on uh, September uh, 1st, 2017, Boy's Story released their first single, How Old Are You? And so they're almost, they've almost been around for two years. Um, but, you know, they're at that age. And, and just knowing, you know, I didn't have any boys myself, but... Um, just knowing that age, this is that age where the voices start changing. So I'm sure there's going to be a little lag here and there um, as as these guys get older. But um, based on some of the stuff that I've seen them do before, they're extremely talented. So this one actually is going to be featuring Jackson Wang. Um, just before I came in my office to do this reaction, I asked my 15 year old, have you seen the new video? And I believe her response was, of course. And I said, was it any good? And she was like, uh, yeah. So maybe I don't need to do this reaction. There you go. <laughs> There's your reaction. My 15 year old said, uh, yeah. Okay. So it's got a lot to live up to at this point. All right. I'm excited. These boys are very talented. All right. I have English subtitles on so I can see. Sometimes it's distracting for me, so sometimes I wonder whether I should really be doing it with the with the subtitles on, because sometimes I pay too much attention to the words. So I'm going to try really hard to pay attention. So this is everything you have to pay attention to when you do this, people. Uh, you got to pay attention to the lyrics. You got to pay attention to the video and the production itself. You pay attention to the dancing, and you pay attention to the the singing and the quality uh, of their singing. So there's a lot of things to pay attention to. Um, and uh, sometimes it's very, very hard. So, um, but I'm gonna give it my best shot. You guys ready? I'm ready. All right. Boy Story, Too Busy, featuring Jackson Wang, which by the way, if you have not seen that new photo shoot he did for that magazine. Wow. Okay. In three, two, one, play. Ooh. Oh, of course. Of course, Jackson. Ooh. They came in hard. Ooh. 
I always love him. He's so cute. Oh, his voice changed. Oh, wow. Yeah, his voice really changed. His too! What is going on? They all grew up! I feel like they've all grown like five inches too. Oh my god, I love these transitions. They're so smooth. Oh. Oh! Oh, that little basketball move. Okay, these boys have grown up. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, I love Jackson. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. That was freaking awesome. Okay, we got to talk we got to talk about this video. The transitions. The, 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 the colors, you had the red, you had the white, you had the, the transitions, they were so, so clean. Like, it, it was almost like they just made them freeze and change their clothes. It, it was like they didn't even move an inch. I mean, it was so clean. Um, the colors were vibrant, that red just, just really, and I love the fact that they had them in, like, the, the, like, the PE clothes, um, for school. Like, because these guys are still kids. They're still kids. They're young. They're what, 14-ish, give or take. Um, and they're still really young. Uh, but they're so incredibly talented. But yet, th at least it seems like the, the companies have re have realized that, you know, they're, they're playing to their age and they're playing to their age group. They're keeping it age appropriate. Um, and I love that. And I love Jackson, okay? Number one, if you've ever seen Jackson outside of GOT7, um, especially there was that show that he did, I think it was in China. Um, it's it's similar to The Return of Superman, if I remember right. And he was like taking care of these kids. He's got such parental instincts, right? He's so, so good with kids. Have you ever seen videos with him with kids? He's just amazing with kids. He's just, he's a giant child himself. And yet he's got a certain maturity about him. And I, I absolutely love Jackson. He's actually one of my favorite members of GOT7. Um, and it's it's well known within the industry that he very much is a mentor to the guys in Boy Story. 
Um, I mean, they're all from, you know, it's, it's, they're all Chinese and he's, you know, I think for, for the, for the boys within Boy Story, he's sort of that connection. Um, you know, he's kind of that go between, it seems like, uh, between, you know, them and the company uh, and kind of like guiding them along the way of, of how they're going to, you know, they, they went from these little boys to, to idols at such a young age. So it's really good that Jackson was there to kind of, you know, help them with that and be a mentor. And I just love, I love that about Jackson. I could go on about Jackson all day. So we're going to stop. The lyrics were great. Very like, hey, you know, I'm busy making a name for myself. I don't have time right now. Maybe, you know, the haters out there, just, you know, whatever. Um, and I really liked it in the video. Man. Okay, guys, if you haven't, as soon as you're done watching me here, if you have never seen any boy story, go go check out some of their early stuff. And you're going to understand why I'm so completely blown away right now. Like, they've all gotten taller. Their faces are changing. Their voices are changing. And it's just, it's so awesome watching them from two years ago and now seeing them now and just seeing how much they're maturing and how much they're growing up and how much how much their talent is growing. Like, oh, I mean, that it came in hard. That video came in hard. That song came in hard. And it never stopped. Oh, God. This is going on my playlist. I mean, without a doubt. And then when you threw Jackson in at the very, very end, I was done. I was done. Done. <laughs> God, I love doing this. Have I mentioned how much I love doing this? I love doing this. Oh, and yes, I, I, to, I need to answer one little thing really quick. I really am like this in real life. This, not an act. You can ask my children, you can ask my husband, you can ask my two best friends. Um, this is me 110% of the time. I am this extra all the time. It's a lot, I know. Feel bad for my husband. You don't have to feel bad for my children because, you know, they just have to suck it up because, you know, moms are embarrassing to begin with. But no, really, seriously, I am like this all the time. So, um, yeah. This song, awesome. Two thumbs up. That was great. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. And uh, until next time, bye.